The Mega Milton is a smorgasbord of handy all analog utilities in just 8 HP, designed to greatly extend the functionality of a Eurorack system. It includes a stereo line input converter for bringing in external line sources, a fixed 4 input mixer with breakout attenuator for combining and processing signals, a gated slew limiter for adding slides to sequences, a sample and hold with analog white noise for producing generative modulation and textures, and finally a buffered malt for droop-free signal distribution with handy LEDs to monitor. Its simple layout and convenient normalisation between sections makes typical use cases and more complex cross-patching fast and easy. Let's take a look at each of the sections. The topmost section of the Mega Milton includes a stereo 3.5mm line level input for converting external sources to left and right Eurorack level outputs. Let's connect the stereo output of a machine drum to the Mega Milton via a quarter inch to 3.5mm TRS breakout cable. We'll patch the left and right outputs to the MFX and MCF times 2 for processing. The input includes plenty of gain for most external sources. The level can be set directly from the source's volume control. Let's process the machine drum's beat with delay and filtering from the system. The line level input makes it fast and easy to incorporate any source into your system for unique modular sound shaping and processing. Sources with headphone outs like small keyboards or laptops can also be connected directly using a standard 3.5mm TRS auxiliary cable. The next section is a fixed gain 4 input mixer with breakout attenuator. Let's use it to mix several waveforms from our two oscillators. We'll patch the Milton's white noise source to our fourth input and set the level with the attenuator knob. Let's unpatch the noise from the fourth input and connect an envelope from the Pan Pro. We can break the attenuator out of the mixer circuit by patching directly from its output. The attenuator is now used to set the level of the envelope CV to the filter cutoff. This simple utility mixer is great for quick and basic mixing of both CV and audio sources. Just below the mixer is the gated slew limiter section. The slew limiter allows us to smooth any incoming CV and enable it with a gate. Let's connect a standard square wave LFO from the Pan Pro. As we increase the slew amount, we begin to round off the square wave. For a more practical use, let's connect a quantized CV sequence from PAM. By increasing the slew amount, we'll start to hear portamento or sliding between the notes. With the slew amount set, let's connect a gate signal to the enable jack. 
This switches the slew on and off as the gate goes high and low, adding intentionally placed slides to our sequence. We can change the pulse width of the gate to fine tune the duration of the slides. The gated slew limiter is a creative utility for modifying modulation sources and adding expressive slides to sequences. The next section is a fully patchable sample and hold with a white noise circuit. Let's trigger the sample and hold by connecting a clock to the trig input. We'll connect the sample and hold out to the pitch input of the TASM O. Once we start the clock, the sample and hold begins to generate random CV in time with it. Let's increase the clock speed. The random voltages are generated by sampling the built-in white noise source which is normalised to the sample and hold input. We can connect any source to this input to generate stepped modulation from it. Let's connect the pip slope and engage its loop mode. As we reshape the looping envelope, we can hear the sample and hold output follow the change. At any time, we can access the white noise circuit by patching from its direct output. Let's disconnect the pip slope and return to using noise at the sample and hold input. The noise source remains normalised to the sample and hold input even when its direct output is patched. The sample and hold output is normalised to the input of the slew section when no input to the slew limiter is patched. If we increase the slew, we can create a smooth version of the stepped random generated by the sample and hold. The sample and hold section is a versatile utility for creating specialised and interesting synced modulation. The final section at the bottom of the Mega Milton is the buffered multiple for precisely duplicating signals. It includes a pair of bipolar LED indicators for visualising the incoming signal. Here we can clearly see the bipolar LFO generated by the TASM O. For a typical use case, let's duplicate a quantized volt per octave sequence with the buffered malt to our two oscillators used in a stereo synth voice patch. We use the third output to add pitch tracking to the filter cutoff. The buffered multiple is a basic but essential tool for precisely duplicating signals. The Mega Milton is a handy collection of classic analog synthesizer building blocks designed to unlock greater functionality in a Eurorack system. Its simple layout and convenient normalization between sections makes typical use cases and more complex cross patching fast and easy. The Mega Milton is available now from your preferred LM stockist. For more information on the Mega Milton and the rest of the ALM product line, please visit BusyCircuits.com.